Welcome to the weather forecast for the week beginning Wednesday, January 18th, 2023. I'm Chief Meteorologist John Ensworth at Longmont Public Media. We have a new moon, Saturday the 21st, so nothing to see. But well, there's a lot to see on the sun if you're interested. There's a ton of sunspot activity going on. Looking at drought, not much changed last week to this week. A little worsening down here in the south and over here at the Kansas border, but a large portion of Colorado is now drought free. Going nationally, a lot of drought relief in the west. Really, it's only this little patch out here in the Great Plains, Southern Great Plains, that has a large scale problem going on. So can you look at our snowpack animation? It's best I can do that. And this is the current. You can see we're heading way up into the positive territory. We're way above average, 134%. And that's even better now that we've gotten some more snow. So up to 7 a.m. Wednesday. This is a, a 7 o'clock is the official observation time. And so the storm continued beyond this. So I'll have to take a look at today's data in just a moment. But about 5 inches around Longmont, about 4 or 5 inches um, Boulder a little less up in the mountains and then another inch or so inch and a half inch um, came in the next day looking at Denver areas near the airport got about 6.8 uh, taking a look at the official Denver to storm total is 9.2 inches so it, it definitely picked up a few more inches on the next day up in Fort Collins they got about an inch more uh, the next morning but you can see totals just to the west of the city five six seven inches in town four and a half or so and lots of good moisture with that uh, it's just fantastic stuff okay take a look at uh, severe weather uh, that storm is kicking off some severe weather in the south as it moves and then it heads the bulk of the energy goes up into Canada a little teeny area there and then off and away Looking at Wednesday, we had the wraparound snow, a break between storms. Another one that comes in that you might see a little bit of snow around Longmont and Denver, but the this one's going further south, and this is going to help put a little moisture down in those southern counties that missed it. Nothing to talk about with smoke. Our normal is 44 uh, for high and 17 for low, uh, and we are hugging the low end of that normal range with Friday showers, Sunday, Monday showers, and unsettled weather going into next week. So we're going to stay cold and have repeated chances of snow. Wednesday we had the storm wrapping around and heading out. Uh, looking at highlights into the future for the upper air pattern, uh, looking at Saturday morning, Friday night, there's a that low passing kind of to our south, and there's the best closest snow to Longmont still could get some up there. Sunday night into Monday we have another trough coming in and some snow for the northern part of the state and Tuesday we have a little ripple coming behind a sharp trough and some snow again. Some models have that Sunday Monday storm a little more serious and so I have a higher percent I could um, be in trouble on that one but we'll get to that in a second. So you can see that there's a ridge off the west coast this is turning off that continuous shot of massive storms into California, giving them a break. Northern West Coast, Oregon and Washington State are going to keep getting stuff, but we are just seeing north winds keeping us cold and trough after trough coming through this northwest flow. Uh, just little ripples like that one right there could kick off a brief snowstorm. Yep. Okay, temperatures. Uh, the west stays kind of mild. This is more Pacific air. This is not coming from northern Canada or the pole as much as it's coming off of the ocean. Um, so you can see it's chilly, definitely cooler than normal in the west. This is up to Monday now. And lots of heat out east. No cold fronts are pushing into Texas and out trying to get into the Ohio Valley and like that. And then we warm up in a real cold shot comes down but largely 
it's going to graze us. We're going to back to our cold front out of that, but it's not a direct hit of the coldest possible air by next weekend, but it does hit about two-thirds of the nation east of us. There goes the storm from Wednesday, Tuesday. Here comes the Friday storm digging south. Yep. And then, yeah, it's definitely giving Kansas some snow and moisture. Here comes our Sunday-Monday storm that could could be bigger. I'm kind of suspecting it will be, but it's not in the models, all the models yet. The GFS doesn't see it. All right, taking a look at precipitation over the next five days, we do have some moisture coming in. This is uh, less than an inch of snow or an inch of snow around Boulder. So whatever happens on the weekend, Friday, um, going into the weekend is not much. Over the next 10 days, it's about a quarter of an inch of liquid. And so you've got, uh, you're in the three inch, four inch area, going 10 days out. So with the cold temperatures, the snow that's there isn't gonna go far. So on there, the cold temperature is 28, 30s, 20s, 30, right around 30. We just don't leave that cold um, regime with that northwest and north flow. I may be overdoing this, the Sunday Monday snow, but we could have an impact on the Monday morning commute if, if the more snowy models um, verify. Take a look at precipitation just nationwide for fun, do some bonus here at the end. Over the last seven days, the West Coast got hit a lot again, 10, 15 inches plus, 20 inches in small spots. Over the next 10 days, you can see Southern California gets a break, but the Northern West Coast and Northern California still has it coming in. That ridge is still going to send the storms their way, and the Southeast gets a lot of precipitation as well. Over the last 90 days, you can see that places on the west coast have received 40 to 50 inches of water. That's amazing. That's just colossal. And taking a look in the future, there finally looks like the La Nina that we've had for a few years is shutting off and we're switching over to an El Nino pattern by next uh, Christmas. As it sets in, a week episodes of El Nino uh, typically make the uh, west warm, or at least neutral, but cold on the east side of the Rockies. If it gets to be become a strong episode, you get uh, we're still cold, unusually cold here for all the different uh, uh, periods of time: November through January, December through February. It's a winter impact thing. Um, working at precipitation. On week episodes, we kind of stay neutral to a little wet on the west rim slopes. And for uh, moderately strong uh, episodes, the winter months are still kind of neutral here as well. So we'll see what happens from that. Longmont Leader and Broomfield Leader has frequent weather updates and local news. This has been Chief Meteorologist John Ensworth. Keep looking up.